here. We're so glad you found your way to story time with Miss Becky. Our friend Bear has a very important question for you. Have you ever seen a banana that has gone bad? Yes, it looks kind of dark and mushy. Well, Pete the Cat loves bananas until one day he tastes a really bad mushy banana. Now he hates all bananas. The problem is he must eat bananas for energy. Now what is he going to do before the big race? Let's put on the magic reading glasses and find out. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Pete the Cat is eating a banana. Pete loves bananas. They are sweet and tasty and easy to peel. Every morning, Pete puts a banana in his cereal. Sometimes Pete puts a banana on his peanut butter sandwich. But one day, Pete eats a bad banana. The banana is gross. The banana is mushy. The banana is yucky. Pete's tummy hurts. I will not eat bananas again. Pete tells his mom. Pete's mom tries to help. She bakes Pete's favorite banana bread. Pete will not touch it. She makes Pete a banana cream pie. Pete will not eat it. She gets Pete a big banana split. Mm. No thanks, Pete says. Instead, Pete tries a lemon. It is yellow like a banana. Pete tastes it. Yuck, says Pete. The lemon is sour. Pete tries a pickle. It is long like a banana. Pete tastes it. Better, Pete says but not as good as a banana. Pete tries an orange. It has to be peeled like a banana. The orange is sweet, but it is too juicy. It makes Pete's paws sticky. Pete tries fish, plums, rice, hot dogs, watermelon and his mom's nut bread. Pete eats them all. He is not hungry for bananas anymore. Then comes the big race. What should Pete have for breakfast? A pickle? No, Pete doesn't eat pickles for breakfast. A hot dog? No, Pete just had a hot dog for dinner last night. A lemon? No, that's just silly. Pete wants a banana. They're yummy and healthy. Bananas are the best. Do you have another banana? Pete asks. Of course, says Greg the monkey. Pete peels the banana slowly. It is not brown. It is not mushy. Pete takes a teeny tiny bite. It is a yummy banana. It is the best banana ever. Thanks to Greg and his banana, Pete wins the race. Woo! Pete is Bananas for bananas. So, Bear is wondering, does one bad banana spoil the whole bunch? No, they're saying no, Bear. Thank you for letting Bear know that. And we hope you come back to see us soon for another fun adventure. Bye for now. <laughs>